But, you know, I held a vision all that time because I kept thinking divine timing, you know. And on that day, that wasn't my plan. To, I might have gone shopping or I was in a sort of limbo. What shall I do after yeah. Tai Chi? Shall I? No, I don't know. I'll just go home, you know. And it was that. And then his comment, we're uploading in the next half an hour that I knew, oh, my God, you've got it like that. Angel Heart Radio programs should not be used to replace your legal or medical advice, nor your own sound judgment. Welcome to Angel Heart Radio, where we inspire you to remember your magnificence. Join the conversation on our live streams. Head on over to Angel Heart Radio on Facebook. And there's even more for you on angellight777.com. They're welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always such a joy to be with you on Angel Heart Radio and to share wonderful people like my guest today, Annie Jameson from New Zealand. Welcome back Thank to Angel you. Heart Radio. Thank you, Anaya. This has been a while. <laughs> yeah, 10 years, everyone. Annie was with me on several podcasts back in the day. So this is back very good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So we're going to be sharing lots of information about Annie, her work. We are also going to be giving you plenty of places to listen to Annie's sublime music. If you have any questions for Annie, any comments, please do join us on the Angel Heart Radio Facebook page on the live stream there. And you can add your comments in the comment section and I can see them and share them with Annie as we go along. So here we go. Let me just make sure I've got this set up properly. Yes, I have. There's always 50 million things to do. Annie, you have, we look, crystal singing bowls are so amazing. They are so loved around the world. The, the vibrations, the tones, the feeling, the healing is such a blessing to so many souls. What drew you into your own experience and journey with your crystal bowls? Oh, it's such an extraordinary, it's an extraordinary experience because if I, if you told me I was going to be doing this 15 years ago, I go, oh my gosh, you're crazy. <laughs> but I heard my first crystal singing bowls probably 30 years ago. And I heard one bowl in England and I was on a meditation and this um, lovely man from Wales would come down, David Cousins, and I don't remember him playing it. I just remember him holding it and dinging it, and then we would all meditate. And then at the end, he would just strike it again, and then we'd all come out. And um, he was very passionate about the energy of crystal, and he said it's one of the highest vibrations that you can have you know, in your home and at the time, they used to do um, um, cassette tapes, you know, back in the day. And we had cassette tapes. Day, and he, yeah. would, he would say to us, if you have this music playing in your home, even when you're not there, you're raising the vibration. And so I would duly, I didn't really know what I was doing. I'd put the cassette tape in. I can't find it now years later. I'd love to know actually what it was. And I'd go off to work and I'd leave the music playing. Little did I know that these bowls were probably talking to me all the time. <laughs> and, um, and then um, 12 years ago, 11 or 12 years ago, I was working in the healing field, auric um, healing, and a lot of the healers were using the Tibetan bowls. But for some reason, I couldn't make them sing. And I thought, well, that's not going to heal anybody, <laughs> playing them like that. And I asked my angel, Chileo, who I have been connecting with now for the last 30 years, um, why is that? And I was told that that's not your vibration, it's crystal. And so I asked my husband to bring back a quartz crystal singing bowl from Glastonbury. Um, oh because at the time, there was nothing really here. There was a couple of people. And he brought it back. And... He didn't know what he was bringing, and he thought he was bringing a lead crystal bowl. And so when we when he unpacked it, he looked a bit surprised. It was a white <laughs> bowl. And my boys were there, and I was beside myself with excitement. 
because I'd ordered it without him <laughs> knowing. <laughs> and um, they, nobody looked very impressed when we unpacked it. <laughs> it was just like a white salad bowl until I played it. And then they were, oh, I wish I'd taken a photo actually of them then. And as I played it, I said to my husband, Michael, I have a feeling they're going to be more of these here. And he went, well, where will they go? But now they, we live with them, they're everywhere. <laughs> and now our boys have left home. The bowls have expanded into other rooms. And we used to sleep with them in our bedroom. And at night I would cover them with silk cloths, you know, like birds, it's quiet. <laughs> but now the kids have left home, I've sort of taken over. Wow. And it's become more and more of a passion. Um, you know, when you start something, you don't know if it's going to grab you. You think, oh, well, this is a whim. Yeah, I'll do this and I'll do this. But the more I play them, the more passionate I get. And my friends and people who come here, they, they, you know, they can feel that. Because the quality of sound is undeniable. There, it, there does not seem to be a... a quality of resonance like that it goes through your body you can feel it you know you don't have to go oh I don't I don't get that you can actually feel it in your body and within about five minutes of being in that sound whether it's in physical form you know that you're here lying here or sitting here or through speakers because it's important to get that actual sound right or through headphones yeah you see people just go, it's like an outward breath of come back to, I've come, I'm coming back. So my passion has always been in whatever I do, whether I'm channeling or anything that I do is to help people and myself align to the divine. That's my absolute passion because I know what that feeling is. I know how I feel when I'm in that absolutely centered space. I make brilliant decisions from that space when I'm not in that space. <laughs> because you're kind of walking in life off center. And so you make yeah. decisions off center. That's so and true. So, and it's yeah. that, that passion, that feeling. And welcome. We've got lovely people watching with us. I'd like to mention Elaine, Pam, Jenny, Audrey. Oh, Audrey's with us. Welcome, welcome. So Jenny is with us as well. Thank you, guys, and lots of other people. I don't even know who are watching. We want to welcome you all. Thanks so much for being here. This is a good point just to also remind you guys that Angel Heart Radio programs are not to be used to replace your legal, medical, or professional advice, nor your own sound judgment. Jenny, uh, sorry, um, Edith, this is so beautiful because listening to you explain that, share that, watching your face, you could see the light there, the guidance, the joy. And that's when we know without a single doubt, this is what I need to be doing. This is my heartbeat, my breath, my joy, right? Yeah. Um, and we have some a lot of humor at home um so and my husband doesn't mind me saying this now because I have said it so many times but he will say to me ideas only on Tuesdays because it's because <laughs> or could we not talk about crystal bowls for a while or you know so he rushes out to work on a Tuesday it's not Tuesday <laughs> and then when he comes home he, I give him five minutes. I can't wait to be longer. And then he goes, okay, download now. And then I've done this and like that and the bowl. And, blah, blah, blah. and yes, it brings a huge amount of joy to me, you know, and, and my family. But um, one of the, the other biggest thing is to be of service. And I know that can just sound like a sentence, but it's when you've got that feeling, it's so deep inside me that even when I'm scared, you know, and I think, ah, I don't want to make that step. You know, I, I've received guidance, you know, to do this or that. Oh, my, my, where did that come from? I didn't hear that. I bring myself back to take away that fear or anxiety to go, if I can be of service, if this can help one person, then I need to do this. 
because yeah. it's that and sharing. That's the mark of, yeah, it's the mark of true humility. I didn't understand that word until ex I experienced the same thing in my own heart because it's not a thing you think. It is not a oh. action you take. It is something that is so part of you. It is so... It's like breathing. You, you must do it. And that is, I, I can see it written all over your face, Annie. And look, we all know, guys, don't we? Music that comes from the bowls, from the crystal singing bowls, is it, it's hard to even explain what it does to us. But there's something, and, I, and I'm genuinely not saying this because we're speaking, but there's something about your particular music whether it's because there's a, it feels there really does feel like an angelic quality to it to me oh and bless you thank you it's so true and I was watching I'm going to uh, you've got the clip guys it's on my page it's on the Angel Heart Radio Facebook page of Annie playing I was watching it again this morning and, and just laying in bed listening to it Annie and it was like I'm going to get a bit emotional I feel it was like the presence of angels. It was like being enveloped by the largest wings you can imagine and the tiniest wings you can imagine and everything in between. Beautiful. Oh, making me go goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was the experience for me. And I have a very big mind. It takes a lot to quiet my mind, I can, I can tell oh, you. It takes a lot to quiet my mind. I have to put my music on to go into calm down. <laughs> so, again, so put it on in the background, everyone. You will find Annie on Spotify. How do they find you on Spotify, Annie? Oh, they go to Annie Jameson, J-A-M-E-S-O-N. And so all my music's on, on there. I went and checked or, out or, on all streaming, so you can whatever you whichever country you're in, look at your streaming thing. Yeah, and you know what? If you even just Google Annie Jameson uh, Crystal Singing Bowls, you'll be flabbergasted. I was looking at at how many people play and listen to your music on Spotify. My jaw literally hit the floor, Annie, and it was exciting for me because it's you, but it was also exciting for me to think of all those lives being touched. Oh. by the generosity of your beautiful music well I mean this is what I feel so passionately that if that if if those vibrations are somewhere it could be in Russia or it could be South Africa or there was a lovely lady in um, Russia who said that she played one of my tracks was Peaceful Garden and she said something like you don't know what a difference it makes I'm in a flat you know I think they're in lockdown and, you know, they couldn't go in the garden or anything. And then all those peaceful sounds, are, you know, with nature, the crystal bowls, it can transport you somewhere completely different. Um, and so that's what's really exciting, that music is like water. There's no limit. It can just seep in anywhere and it can be really gentle. You know, we, we sometimes... Um, I've said when, when my boys have been home or if my husband's playing my music in, in another room and I'm out in the kitchen, you know, doing my thing, if I come into that room, there's a whole different energy in that room where those vibrations are happening than out where I was. It's, it's palpable. Yeah. You can feel it and you just walk in and go, oh, so it's nice. And then I say to my, <laughs> then I say to my husband, well, which track is that? Because <laughs> and he love you know he loves it and the kids love it and what it seems is which is fascinating to me and I think this is why my passion becomes more and more. There's, there seems to be no age barrier for it. You know, mm. it can be for children will get it. You know, babies become calm. You can use it for birthing. You know, breastfeeding, teenagers, you know, we've just done a trial, a, a pilot study with teenage boys. Not the easiest age group. <laughs> not no, the easiest. No. 
Yeah, so we, we just um, we work it, they've, they've written a paper on it. So we're just, and there, were, there was a difference before and after of listening. This one, we did a physical trial where it was physically playing, but um, so watch this space. Watch this space yeah. when it's oh, published. I've got to have you back and hear about that, Annie. Yeah, yeah. That's um, so teens and, and, you know, boys, and boys are not so expressive, you know, in their teens. Um, but this, the, the tones of the bowls help people to sort of process their own stuff, if you like, Absolutely. without having to talk about it. Or yeah. adults or elderly or like the, the more I work with them, the more unlimited potential there is. And then I go, wow, I could do this and I could do that. And oh, my yeah. gosh, I could take it there and I could offer it there. Like it's, yeah, unending. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I, I, I just love it. I wrote in the comment section, please ask any, any questions you may have. And I wrote, please ask a nice, any question you have <laughs> yet. <laughs> so, no, love it. Please ask any questions you have. Julie Kiss says hello from New York. Oh, hello, Julie from New York. <laughs> Julie. Uh, we love it when you're with us. Um, this kind of is a really great segue too, because it then begins to open up questions for me, like how in the world you have achieved so much. I saw an interview with you and I'm sorry, I can't remember the interviewer's name or her program. And she was sharing something I thought was incredible, which I would, I'll ask you about in a second. You also are now part of um, your music is now going into prisons to assist women in the RAW program, Reclaim a Woman program. Yeah, Reclaim well, Another Woman. Another so Woman. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's just majorly exciting. So how did, I, I, how did that happen? How did you? Well, it was one of those series of events, you know, where there's a chance meeting and a chance meeting. And what I've learned over the years with, with my beautiful Chileo is I don't miss any opportunities. I'm an absolute opportunist. If there's something comes up and it's come from somewhere else, I pay it real attention. I don't ever dismiss it. And this opportunity came up where I could offer my music to Raw, um, which means Reclaim Another Woman, um, run by Anna Str Stretton and her sister. Um, and they have had a huge, huge success, you know, um, helping women to rehabilitate and not keep going in and out of prison. And out of that meeting came the, your music should go into the prison. So then I created, um, well, because they can only use CDs, obviously, and CDs are kind of going on the way out. <laughs> but, yes, that's right. But, and yeah. they were going to put them in different areas of the prison. And um, I did receive a lovely letter um, that stressed that, in an environment like that, there's very strong emotions, as you can imagine. Yeah. And that the crystal bowl music helped to bring a sense of calmness. And <sighs> now I don't know who it will serve. I don't know who will like it. But all you can do is if the idea comes from a higher realm, from the spiritual world, from the angelic realms, I'm the one who can take action on earth. They yeah. can't take the action. I'm the action person. And as my mother used to say, she was all very, very tuned in, very, very spiritual. She used to say, you can have all the ideas in the world, but you need to take action. Yeah, you know, absolutely. On a physical plane. So I asked, you know, is this right? Shall I do this? And if it's, I can't not do, do it, if you understand. I, oh, I do. It's the same for me with Angel Heart Radio and Angel Life 777 and my book and all those things. It's not, it's, it's not a question of no. will. And that's when you know that you're absolutely yes. aligned. Now, the next day, you can have a major wobble. Oh, my God. What have I done? Oh, and it. then I'll say to Michael, my husband, Ooh, and he just says, go away. <laughs> Don't talk to me <laughs> when you're like that. You know, because that's not you. That's not the real you. That's just the ego comes in and goes, who on earth and what do you think you're doing? And exactly right. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I to, to even do that? I mean, you know, 
we don't have a degree in, in offering it to here and there, but I, I have the passion and I can just go all out. <laughs> and I, and um, this will probably amuse you. The, new, <laughs> the, the latest download of energy was to offer my music to the police force. And, and we're not there yet, but um, you've got to try and find the right person to talk to. And, you know, you know, that's, you know, yeah, I mean, it's a process. So process. it came to me in my mind, just go to the police station. <laughs> so this week I went to the main police station and I queued up with everyone else. <laughs> and I, and I, I you know, this. policeman came out and, you know, what can I do for you? <laughs> and I, then I launched into my passion of may I offer this and this. So he went out the back and then I was just standing waiting. I asked the angel to come with me, you know, in there. Okay, we're all coming in now. Archangel Michael, come with me. And he came back and he said, you know, what we feel is that the music, that's lovely, you know, maybe offer it to for, for people on probation and in prison. So I said, oh, it's in the prison. I'm actually offering it to you, the police, the police force. You know, like if we can calm them down too, like they must be so stressed. I mean, yes. you know, and look, it then becomes like exponentially ripple effect mega. Yeah. On so, so again, watch this space because I won't. Yeah, I won't let it go. Like I follow things up. So oh, he's he's taken my number, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, now I don't have that in my. I don't ponder over that. It's like it comes to me, the idea, and then I go, okay, I need to do it now. Because if I go and think about it, and right I'll get scared. No, oh, no. But what yeah. happens if they say that? And what do? No, no. So yeah, my my real. It's a real. I've got the goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I'm loving this. It, you get this feeling inside you where you, yeah, you feel like you want to explode with excitement. <laughs> and, yeah. and he was very gracious. He didn't know me from Adam. He didn't know anything about Crystal. Like anything but I think he could maybe feel <laughs> my energy that I wasn't going to leave there until I yeah but not only that Annie you have and I wrote this about you as well in one of my Facebook posts you probably one of the one of the most unassuming people I've ever had the privilege to meet and yet that is part of your incredible gift because you're not, you can tell straight away, this is not an ego thing. This is not a pushy thing. This is, this is a true gift of service and gifts of service will always find their way home one way or another. Yes. Yeah. I, I feel that because you're speaking your, if you <clears throat> speak your absolute truth, like I can only be me. There's a wonderful yeah. quote I think it's Noel Card said you can only be me because everyone else is taken. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just be you, just and be this you. is me, and this is what I feel, and this is coming to me. Now, when I was in my twenties, I wouldn't dream of doing that. I've been terrified. Absolutely right, terrified. But, but you're in your wisdom years now. We are in our wisdom yeah, years. In the wisdom. Go, girls. Yeah, yeah, right. And we're prepared to take chances we, we couldn't have taken before. We were still learning about what it all means for us. We were still learning about who we are. Uh, what Absolutely. else? Absolutely. And all the things that we did that I just go, oh, my goodness, that, that's mm -hmm. not me now. No. I, and I feel, what can I do in the next? 30 years, you know, this is going to make a huge, I've done more now in the last 10 years than I did in the whole <laughs> previous. Same, years. same. And it just doesn't stop. It's just one idea after another that just gets followed through. And I, you know, I always ask the angelic realm. So I'm not standing alone in this, yes. you know, the unseen world. If you put your hand up to say, I'm here, <laughs> you, you know, I'm showing up, I'm here. Give me guidance and also give me courage. Give me courage to step forward 
in my power as my soul truly desires. That's, that's a huge thing. So when I go out walking and I do that most days, I'm out there <laughs> in the zone. The kids used to say when they were young, it's so important. Do you have to say anything out loud? <laughs> You know, when you're feeling passionate, obviously, if someone walks past you, I quiet them down. Then I love it. Sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just because I've just got that energy mm. and I just want to express it. Absolutely. Now, we're going to come to the chat room in a second, guys. You Look, people are loving what you have to say. You're inspiring people, like really touching people's hearts. Thank you for communicating that with us. And the, the really cool thing about that is, Annie, for me, about expressing who we truly are. I mean, I remember the day when driving my grandchildren to school, Abby and Bailey, this is about a, I don't know, a couple of years ago now. So, you know, maybe Abby wasn't going to school, but Bailey was. And I was in the front and they said, what are you talking to? You're talking to yourself, Dee. And I said, no, I'm praying. No, and they no. said, what are you praying about? And I'm just, I said, I'm just sending blessings to the world. And then, you know, every now and again, Abby would be in the back and she'll look at Bailey and go, she's praying again. Oh, bless. But, you know, that's had a really yeah. great effect on the kids because if we see a plane, I'll say, hey, imagine all the people on that plane, all their families and friends. Let's send everybody a blessing. Let's see all the angels with the plane. And it's a beautiful thing because it's a very simple, un unintrusive way of sharing such a basic um, tenant of truth, sharing, caring, support, being part of a, a larger community. And I think that's one of the things for me, Annie, that – has really touched me about what you're doing. You're bringing service to the community in a way that, hey, not that long ago may not have happened. Maybe the no. energy wasn't prepared yet. But not only are you doing this, you also have your music on aircraft now. On Yes, on Air New Zealand. And that took a year of manifesting. I yeah i ha i had the idea it was dropped into my head because <laughs> we wow. flew a lot overseas because my family lived overseas and i said to my husband i oh, should have my music on here It'd be so calming you know it's not the easiest flying and you know many hours no. and i followed it through and i envisioned it i felt it i felt myself sitting on the plane and saying to Michael, oh, it's such fun, we could listen to my music, you know. And it took a year of finding the right person, you know, all that. All the steps. And on the actual day that it manifested, my, my younger son, he was in Denmark, and he said, and I was still going on about it, and he said, Mom, maybe let it go. Maybe let it go. And I remember saying to him, I cannot let it go because I've seen it, I feel it, and it came from somewhere else. And it was that day. I found the guy's phone number and I did a pitch. He had no idea who I was, so his phone was probably like this. <laughs> and within 10 minutes, he's written back saying, it sounds fantastic. I actually had to go onto YouTube to see what you were playing. If you are, if you are able to proceed, we'd like to upload to Air New Zealand now. And it was that divine timing. And then suddenly it was all on there. And... Um, but, you know, I held a vision all that time because I kept thinking divine timing, you know. And on that day, that wasn't my plan to be phoning then. I might have gone shopping or I was in a sort of limbo. What shall I do after yeah. Tai Chi? Shall I? No, I don't know. I'll just go home, you know. And it was that. And then his comment, we're uploading in the next half an hour that I knew, oh, my God, you've got it like that. Wow. So, yes, very exciting. So the people flying, yeah, it's international flights and obviously not so many going overseas, but the people coming back and forth from Australia and all, it you know can what? actually bring people into a state of calm. Oh, God, I wish I'd had that when I was flying and so incredibly, so incredibly beside myself with terror. And a lot of people have that. Um, yeah. I want to now just quickly recognise that Carolyn in the comments, asked a question quite a while ago. I haven't forgotten you, Carolyn. I'm going to ask that question right now, my love. Carol and 
So I'm going to sidestep for a sec here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she says, hello, Annie. How does your music help animals? Oh, that's another exciting one. So, um, yes, it can, because obviously animals, you know, they respond to vibration. Um, I had a very funny thing where I was, I was playing to many people and I went to the venue to set up and this lady had a, a puppy, a brand new puppy who was going absolutely berserk, running around, you know, in between the tables. I started to play and he literally just lay down and went to sleep. <laughs> so animals are very, very sensitive. Um, I have a friend here in New Zealand and we, I played to the cows and they observed what the cows did. I had to go in the field. That was a bit scary <laughs> with the cows. <laughs> and we played and the cows just stopped still. And they, you know, their eyes were, yeah, it, it, it has an effect on every, everything, every being. Um, the funny thing, someone brought a chicken the other day when they came for a sound bath. <laughs> We had the we had the chicken sitting outside the room, and it quietened down when I was playing. So yes, again playing it quietly. When we had our, when our cat was alive, um, didn't respond to the very deep notes, but to the high notes. Okay. So I have played to the dolphins before, um, and that was another major, major thing. And they, this was the first time I was in Hawaii. I played a bowl on a boat and the dolphins, came, four of them came to the surface with their blowholes and one put its head out like, what's going on? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then we played, and then I played here at the mounds in, in New Zealand and we took, I think it was 21 or 22 people out on a boat, another friend and I, and there weren't many dolphins that day. And I started playing the bowl and everyone started singing. And then there were 200 dolphins with their babies. They were just everywhere around the boat. And the skipper was going, oh, my. <laughs> you know, so I took a very high note because dolphins have a very high sonar. Mm. So just what's coming to my mind right now, horses may respond to something deeper than the smaller animal you know I don't know because we haven't done research in that but I would love to offer it to vet clinics you know anywhere where a, a being is stressed yeah yeah so this is yeah. this is the call out everyone if you are watching or listening on the podcast later watching the replay if you know someone if you get an idea that's sparked about where to share this, please do share it. Um, and his music is, is so valuable. And as you can really gather by now, the resonance of what Annie's saying is very powerful and beautiful. And this is, a, this is like a greater thing than what we're talking about now. This is about really helping to bring peace to to beings all beings animals people the environment um yeah the environment yeah the earth exactly yeah. imagine you've got a stressful home you know kids are yelling and no one's have their bath and homework hasn't been done or you've yeah. had a fight with your with your partner yeah. or whatever it might be just put it on in the background you don't even have to tell anybody that's what you're doing no and you can yeah. have it on really quite low we we had that on at christmas one year and then I suddenly said to Ron, is everyone feeling quite sleepy? You know, we were all <laughs> chatting and it was just quietly in the background because it, it's, a, it's a natural vibration, you know, and it's a slow, slow vibration. I created this year a particular track called um, Deep Binaural Bliss. And there are two, two very, very deep bowls that have... Um, a binaural beat so what happens is one is tuned slightly differently to the other and what that does is it activates the delta waves in your brain so for sleep so it slows the brain waves down and you can just have that playing if you're wanting to go to sleep don't ever listen to my music while you're driving any of it <laughs> because you will suddenly find that you're in the zone yeah I, I can really, actually, I can attest to that. I've not listened to 
uh, the music driving, but it's the same as when you don't do meditation, don't listen to a meditation when you're driving. No, no because, because you don't you, think you're in the zone, but you do. But you really are. And your music is exactly the same for me. And, and it's automatic. I can feel my yes. breath <sighs> to harmonize, my heartbeat, everything starts to synchronize. And it's just this beautiful sense of, and I don't even have to do anything except play it. That's, you know? that is, now this is, this is a fantastic topic, which is why I'm passionate about teenagers and children. They don't have to do anything. It's a passive thing. You're stressed at school. You know, everything's going haywire. You put your earbuds in. Nobody knows what you're listening to. You're not sitting there because you can't, because your brain's going like this. And even if your mind is still going and you're listening to the music, when you open your eyes, even if it's five, ten minutes, you will be in a different space. There was a lovely lady who contacted me the other day who's a head teacher of music in one of the schools here. So she tried it out on year nine, and so they're like 13-year-olds. And they'd never heard it, it never. And... Um, she put it, she said, we're going to do this for one minute. And they were like, oh, no, miss, can we have it for five? So she put it on for five minutes. And there were 25 kids and 24 of them were almost asleep in that time. And she said to them, imagine just doing that five minutes a day just to bring you into a state of peace. You don't have to go to sleep to it, but... It's, it's, it's what I like to think. It's like a soothing balm of calm. Yep. Yep. Just washes over and washes away. Um, you know, if you understand chakras, then it will be, you know, it's working in all our energy fields. Yeah. Because every bowl has a note. It's born with its voice. But there are overtones. There's, and then it weaves with another bowl, a note. So they're mm. now doing something. And then another one comes in. That's what I love. So, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I get very, yeah. On a Saturday up. morning when my husband gets up after having had a really busy week and I go, oh, can I show you what I've created? And he goes, it's only morning. <laughs> have some space. But yes. That's so I have to download on my friends and my, my sons are absolutely brilliant. My older son, Ben, he goes, just tell me, mum, just don't overload dad. <laughs> and again, you're what you're telling us here now and sharing with us, it's it's just evidence of what you've been saying all along. It's working as a community in harmony. He Tell me, mum, don't tell dad. It's too much at the moment. You know, Michael's saying, yeah. look, it's morning for crying out loud. So everyone's working in together, expressing what they need and how that, you know, you're supporting each other in that way. And I think this is just fabulously on topic on point um, I'm just posting in the comment section that you can listen to Annie on Spotify Spotify or Apple I'm just trying to put... any any of those yeah. but or I'm just listening to any on... I just have to spell the name Jameson like the whiskey Yes. <laughs> so I've just put the link up for Spotify, everyone. I will be putting more links up. So all you got to do is click and you can see it right there. Um, so it's so important to, as I was saying, excuse me, listening <laughs> through either speakers or through headphones, because just through your phone, you can't get the you can't get the quality of sound that the bowls offer. Yes. However, um, every most people have got amazing speakers now that you can yeah. access through Bluetooth. So just stick a speaker somewhere in the house, in the office yeah. even, so quietly. Imagine playing it in the office, just gently and quietly at work. Yes. One you know? of my friends, she plays Rain Blessings because it's got the rain in the back and it's a bit more lively. And she said that helps her concentrate, you know, to yeah. focus. So, you know, th there's there's a lot of music that I've created over these last years that I've been um, yeah, doing so there's harmonies for the soul or celestial dreaming race. yes oh crystal bowl concert in new zealand oh that's on youtube um so we've got lots of places nice. now instagram is a big place to connect with annie and he yes instagram because i don't know why but i put my music to we do 
videos and you know like it's a sort of active place linkedin i'm on you know like um i've connected with many amazing people on linkedin just by a personal connection it's that human contact now it's having that human hello may i offer you this will would this help you it's very good in helping de-stress we all need de-stressing in these times where the world is, feels like it's gone upside down absolutely crazy it's finding a way to try and come back to balance because when we hook into everything you know i spin out i spin off the like <laughs> come back <laughs> i love it i love that i love how you did that <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, Beautiful. But someone said the other day they were like a tigger. I'm a like a tigger, you know, when it's all exciting. And then, I you know, we all, we, we're not static. Our sh energy centers aren't static. We, you know, I wish we could. We tune in, we stay on that channel. Great. That's yep. it for the rest of your life. Sadly not. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, does it? No. no and it's if, we were, if we were a monk sitting on a mountain and that's that's our space, we probably could hold it. But I feel mm. it's now it's about bringing the energy in and grounding it to earth. I used to play bowls that were, you know, a higher octave. And it was my husband who said, you spend so much time in the spiritual realm. I do feel that could, you should get some lower notes to bring yourself grounded. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and how does it feel for you? Pardon? How did that feel for you? Did that feel like oh, it was amazing? It was amazing. It's just like having this warm hug. The deep notes are like a hug. And then you can take people up. Because it's not about, um, as he used to call me, Pollyanna. <laughs> it's not about <laughs> that, Pollyanna. <laughs> um, no, you're yeah, right. It's not about that energy at all. It's not about, it's not about that energy at all. No. You know? Not about the poly, and because I've had people say that, you know, that's so Pollyanna. But the thing is, this is grounded energy. We're, we're really sharing ways of connecting and having practical support in our in our human lives, in our earthly existence. And we need that. And we need that sense of safety and support, that there is a bigger picture somehow that we may not understand, but it's working on our behalf absolutely and we don't know that bigger picture we might get a glimpse but then we we are on the we are in the physical world and we have to navigate this world that is immensely challenging immensely yep. challenging and for mm -hmm. these young people coming through it must be even more challenging mm -hmm. you know we're, we're on the wise end of it so you know we've got some experience of how can I cope with my emotions? But if you're a young one, 12, yeah. 13, 14, you know, in these sort of tender years where you're you're absorbing everything, absolutely everything, yeah, humanity could be quite scary. So, um, yeah, there, there's a lovely quote that I'd love to share with you um, also from the Dalai Lama. And he said, if you, if you think you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. Oh, I love that. I've never heard of that one before. I do yeah. love that. Gee, that brings it home, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I, I heard that years and years ago, and it just stuck with me. You know, each one of us can make a difference. Each mm. one of us can talk to someone on the street to bring a bit of calm. We, everybody can do one thing that can, if we all did one thing every day, you know, the world would be better. And it does make a difference. It really does. Even yeah. smiling at someone, you know, yeah. like sometimes when I'm out, actually it happens quite a bit, and, you know, you just notice someone, Annie, who you can tell is struggling. You can just tell. And so the thing that I love to do is I just, call in the angels and ask them to wrap that person in, you know, a beautiful pink healing blanket beautiful. and comfort. And no one ever has to know that that's happened. But I'll tell you what, the amount of times I see a person suddenly stand a little bit straighter or begin to notice something. Yeah. It does make a difference. It works. 
It totally works. And having the empathy and the the compassion and yeah, yeah, the appreciation. I spend a lot of time in appreciation and joy because it's appreciating what we have got at this moment or yeah, it's the little things, isn't it? Those little acts of kindness that have the greatest impact. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, that Dalai Lama quote, which was years ago, it just stuck with me. If you think you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. <laughs> yeah, so true, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I've just knocked my <laughs> my computer off for the second time. Um, I just want to acknowledge Oscar has joined us. Welcome, Oscar. Thank you for being here. Hello, with Oscar. You. Wherever you are. <laughs> um, Caroline says, acknowledges what you've said, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Vet clinics are a brilliant idea. She loves that idea. Um, anybody else, if you'd like to share a thought, ask a question, make a comment, please do post it in the comment section either now or later on Angel Heart Radio's Facebook page. And, and do- people can always, if they have a... That's a brilliant idea. You know, they can write, email me. I'm open to all possibilities, you know, and I will just tune in whether it feels right or it doesn't, you know. Yeah. So if there's a way to be of service, yeah, the angelic realm will guide that. Truly, truly, I believe that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So you can contact Annie as well on her Facebook page. Please go like. Her page, communicate with her there, connect with her there as well. Uh, Crystal Singing Bowls, Annie Jameson, like the whiskey, J A M E S O N. Think about that. Last <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Pam, welcome. Elaine, hello, darling. So let's just touch base for this last part of the show. Now let's swing right back to the raw program, the, uh, what is it, Reclaim Another Woman? Yeah, so people can look it up. It's better to look it up online, really. Yeah. Type in RAW, capital R-A-W, and Anna Stretton. Then they can actually see what the program is. I'm not able to <clears throat> I shook it quote it. Um, it has, a, yeah, it's had a huge success rate. I, I think this, Annie and I were, um, you know, sharing a bit before we came on air this morning that, the raw program will enrich through holistic resilience and well-being. Um, that sounds like it might be it. I'll check it out. If it is, I'm going to post the link as well. So Annie and I were sharing how it's so important that we really do come home to the knowledge, to the wisdom, to the compassion of community. It's very all very well to say, well, you did something wrong. You deserve to be in prison, right? Yeah, because it probably was situational and we don't know the factors we that go know, into we it. We don't even need to. We don't even need to know. We don't, we don't need, need to judge that. The fact of the matter is we know that um, prisons don't work in the sense that people don't get re- rehabilitated. They're not coming out and being able to reintegrate into society and uh, if they choose to and, and move on. There are a lot of extenuating circumstances. So to have the opportunity to bring the we factor in, the community, how can we support each other in ways that are meaningful, reliable, and create well-being for everyone? So if we have people coming out of the prison system, out of the correctional system, who are at least have the chance, the real opportunity to create a life for themselves outside that institution, and then re-enter society, we have a greater, stronger, more harmonious society. So it really does affect us as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 There, there's, yeah, that ripple effect <clears throat> is huge. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Uh, welcome, Julie. Thank you so much for joining us. The replay is the same link, everyone. Uh, you can watch this again. Watch your favorite bits again, you know, share. Please do share this. Let others know what's happening. And um, if you um, 
would like to like and follow the Facebook page as well. You can hear what's coming up. You get notifications as well, which is exciting for us as well. We've got wonderful people from around the world joining us, and it's it's just it feels so good to share with you all. It really feels good in my heart, and we have wonderful people sharing. You do it, yeah, you, and I, you do amazing, and you've. Yeah, how many years have you been doing this? It's, you know. 11. Yeah, 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it would be about the same time just before I, <clears throat> and the, I just have to share how the angelic realm work, how we connected was a lady um, who lived near me in Hamilton who who saw my post and put me in touch with you in Brisbane. You know, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Everything is in divine timing and just hold your space. And one of the last things I would say, when you are feeling wobbled and all over the place, bring your attention back to your breath, come yeah. in and just go, that's all out there. Come back to yourself and do something that takes your mind off of it all a distraction yeah. of any type rather than getting hooked in. And you will find that by the next day, oh, we're back. You're back. You're back in your center again. Yes. And that's what I hope for my music, that it can help bring people aligned to the divine, align them to their source, to their mm. breathing. Yeah. And then we take each day, all of us in the world right now, learning that we cannot know what's next we you have no idea what's going to happen even on the same day it can be a surprise so it can be so challenging it uh, really can be a challenge but like you have so beautifully pointed out today and i wish i had asked you to have a crystal bowl there ready i have a crystal bowl ready oh, you know you. i do read your mind <laughs> of course you can well done you so the thing is you know as you have so Beautifully woven to get, oh, wow. Elaine, you're going to love this, my darling. Look at this. She says, I love, love, love crystal bowls. They bring on the angels. They do. So you've really woven together a beautiful tapestry for us today, Annie, to help us see that, you know, the mosquito makes, you know, a massive difference in the life of someone who doesn't believe that, being small matters or counts or can change anything. And that together, all of us working together in harmony can just start with something as simple as a program like this, as choosing to listen to your music or other music that really inspires Absolutely. them. Today, really pay attention to Annie's music. There's something extremely special about it. So Annie? So this, this is a rose quartz bowl, alchemy bowl. Um, the sound may not come out here, but this is the heart. So we'll just send out love to the, to the <laughs> universe. Can you lift it up? Is it very heavy? Because we're not hearing it too well. No, it's come out so well on there. It's better to go online. Go online, have a look. It was worth a try, guys. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, just looking at the magnificence of that bowl. And the, yeah, in the background there. And I also play, which I don't know, you can see a crystal lyre there. Wow. And, um, <laughs> and last year, I, I offered my music to Scott Bass in Antarctica. <laughs> and that was another one that, that dropped into my mind. And um, I, I, I said to Michael when he woke up, I said, I had an idea. Oh, my God, it's not Tuesday. I said, I've been, sh <laughs> I've been shown it needs to go to Antarctica. How do I do that? And he just goes under the covers and he mumbles, Scott Bass. That's all. So I get up and type in Scott Bass, you know. You try and talk to someone at Scott Bass. I mean, you know, not that easy. <laughs> so I contacted Antarctica New Zealand I put my pit you know told them you know and they probably just think you're crazy but I kept on and I kept on and finally the the um, team leader of Scott Bass that was two years ago 
got my email and he wrote back and he said, thank you so much. Sorry it's taken so long. I've talked to the crew. Yes, please send your music down on the next flight. That's got place. This is so... And, and it's just because they, they spend a lot of time in winter and it's dark and, it, you know, it can play with your mind. Yeah. There's wow. no, there's nothing that will stop me. And I, no, there's nothing. Look, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm quite certain that you're going to come on the show one day and say, it's on the moon. It's on it's, Mars. It's funny because that's where Michael, he thinks it should go to, to the International Space Station. That was his it should be up there. I think that might be. So watch this space. If anyone out there is listening that can make that happen, I'm here to offer the music. And you've demonstrated. But let those vibes come down into the ethers. And uh, yeah, I'm open to all suggestions you really that come from are. the higher energy. Yeah. And you're such an amazing action taker, isn't she, everyone? I mean, <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, I just can't. I can't express deeply enough how exquisitely profound it is to hear you share what you have achieved in order to bring more peace to the planet, to the environment, to people, to animals, to the universe, if you've got your way. Yeah, well, yes, get my way. And you will, you will do it because I can tell. We can all, can't we, guys? We can all tell just by <laughs> the day that, fact, we, that you are unstoppable. It was funny, actually. So we, I wrote to somebody who had done some research with NASA. <laughs> and, um, and they wrote back saying, I think NASA would be interested. You've got to find the right person, you know. So I'm always looking and I'm always waiting for that timing. And not only that, you're noticing the guidance you're noticing those connections you're noticing that feeling this is coming from a higher source than me this is what I need to do with it because it, yeah. as you said earlier for anyone who may have joined us recently uh, in the last you know few minutes if Annie starts to think about it oh but what if this happens and what if that happens oh, yeah. and it probably won't happen. she won't do it so you act now yeah yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm very spontaneous. You have to do it then. You'll be yeah. a mess by the next day. <laughs> oh, no, it's so true. <laughs> I can attest to that, love. I can absolutely yeah. attest to that. And this is exciting and wonderful. Would you please come back and share more with us as things unfold? I'd uh, love to get an idea that you want to float on Angel Heart Radio for crying out loud send me a message. We will do it. I mean, you have an open invitation. You know how the mayor gets the key to the city? No. You know, it, okay, that's the thing. The mayor, there's a there's a, um, a, a saying, the mayor has the key to the city. Well, you have the oh, key yeah. to Angel Heart Radio. Oh. You oh, have the key to Angel you. Heart Radio. Anything you want to do, let us know, and we would be so delighted to, to get you, that Nate. happening. Mm, my great pleasure. Thank you. Thank this you been... so much for having me on to chat. Oh, gosh, I wish we could hug now. I want to hug you so yeah. much. Yeah, oh, these virtual <laughs> hugs, you just need a physical. <laughs> oh, gosh, everyone. I just can't thank you all enough. Get behind Annie. Get behind her music. Um, Pam Daw says, thank you, thank you, thank you, lovelies. It's been wonderful sharing. My, oh, wait till Carol Ann hears this. Hey, hey, Pam, she is going to adore it. Uh, Fatima is with us. Annie should reach out to Sir Richard Branston of Virgin Airlines and have him help her play music to his space trips. Boom. Yes, I, I have that on my list. I have a handwritten letter to Richard Branson sitting here, but I never sent it. When we first, when they first stopped flying Virgin in Australia, because I thought well, oh, I, I can't really send it now. Okay, action! You got it. Yeah. She's got it, Fatima. She's got it, and you have come in with your beautiful uh, Earth Angel wings and helped that happen. So well done, Annie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Pam says definitely. She's definitely going to um, be excited to. Carol Ann is my fellow presenter here on Angel Heart Radio. Now, Carol Ann is coming back, but she's recovering from her journey with, with major cardiac surgery. Oh, so yes. she's doing so well. It's almost four months now. 
it's sending you lots of love and healing Thank energy you. and so it'll be the three of us. Don't you worry about that. You'll love Carol, and she is so amazing. Um, yeah, everyone's just everyone's loving it. Thank you, thank you, Annie. We love you. Thanks, beautiful. This has been super, super fun, and um, I look forward. Have to a more. wonderful day. Yes, thank you. You too. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. My gosh, you're a fabulous, fabulous audience to have. Uh, the opportunity to share with and to connect with and please share this as far and as wide as you possibly can then when you think you've done that something else will come up share it there too (laughs) thanks everyone take good care of you and remember the value of kindness can never be underestimated and kindness is especially important when we give it to ourselves so take care of you be kind to you and you watch the whole world will echo that back to you in so many ways lots of love everyone uh keep an eye on the facebook page we've got lots more coming up and if you want to know when we're on uh what we're doing what times we're on in what countries head on over to angellight777.com that's my website look for angel heart radio and you'll find all that good info there thanks everyone lots of love bye Bye for now You've been listening to another fabulous program on Angel Heart Radio. Our goal is to remind you of how much you matter in the world and to let you know that we appreciate who you are in the world. Angel Heart Radio programs are powerful tools. They are not intended, nor should they, be used to replace your medical or legal advice. The views and opinions expressed by Angel Heart Radio hosts, guests, co-hosts and associates should not be construed as advice from Angel Heart Radio.